Okay, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Cheng Xiao from this live sec Master Second Year student. Today it's my pleasure to be here to present my research for the correlation reduction system for high quality images of tomato fruits in greenhouse. This is my today's outline. Uh, in introduction part, I will talk about the motion vision system in agriculture uh, and also collision effects and its problem in greenhouse and uh, the objective of my research. Uh, next, uh, in materials and method, I will talk about the device and experimental setting and the, the method and also definition of collation in my research. Thirdly, I will talk about the results and discussion. Uh, I will talk about uh, from the collation elimination effect and also the color uh, representation improvement. Finally, I will make a conclusion. Uh, uh, yes, this is the introduction part. Uh, nowadays, machine vision system and also image processing uh, are two important techniques for the precision agriculture. Farmers want to uh, use machine vision monitoring system to obtain some information uh, for plant health conditions and also to support the decisions for uh, plant cultivation. Uh, for machine vision system, illumination is uh, uh, one of the most important components, but it's difficult to control natural illumination, such as uh, in the field or in the greenhouse. It, it will cause a collision problem. Oh, sorry, this part is the collision effect. It's a kind of polarized light, uh, so which means we can remove it by polarized filter. It always appeared on glossy surface of fruits like the tomato. And it will lower down the image quality because the target will lose their uh, color information. Uh, actually, uh, there is some uh, research related with collation. Uh, in the open field, uh, a specific angle of PR filter, which minimizes the collation area, can be calculated by time, latitude, and longitude. But in greenhouse, there is a, a multiple collision area problem. Because uh, uh, in greenhouse, the environment is much more complex. Sometimes not only the sunlight, but also some reflected light from the plastic wall or the metals will cause more than one collision area in, the, uh, in one image. Look at this image. The blue part indicates that the collision area appeared on the uh, tomato surface. So in this case, uh, we can't use one rotational angle of PR filter to remove them all. So the objective of this research is to construct a collision reduction system to acquire high quality images of tomato fruits in greenhouse. Uh, this is a device I'm using to take uh, images. This is a TV camera. And uh, in front of the PR, uh, t uh, camera lens, there is a PR filter uh, attached with a blue gear. Above of the t camera, there is a stepping motor. A white gear is used to connect the stepping motor with the uh, PR filter. So by this uh, way, the PR filter can be precisely rotated one degree by one degree, so we can take the images with different rotational angle. And this is how I set my experiment. The place is in a greenhouse built by glass wall. And the uh, camera is in front of the target, the, this tomato. The distance between camera and tomato is 300 millimeter. The tomato diameter is about 70 millimeter. And this is some setting of the camera. The shutter speed is 1 over 2,000 second. The gain is from 150 to 180 correspond to different light intensity. And the F number is 1.3. By setting like this, the, this is a white balance adjustment. Take an image of the color checkboard. And uh, in the area of the white part, the J value is about uh, 180. And then we adjust the white balance to achieve this. Because we want, uh, because we want to solve the uh, multiple collision area problem. So in this experiment, one collision is caused by the sun. And uh, this left part collision appeared on the uh, tomato surface. And uh, because of the reflected light from this mirror I set here, 
another right particulation can be uh, observed on the surface. So by this, two collision areas occurred in these images. And in order to move all the uh, collision, we use a combination of all the darkest point pixels in the method. First, we take images every five degree from zero degree to 180. Then we got 36 images. Some of the images may contain only collision one, and some of the other only contains collision two. So we want to combine all of them. Uh, the combination method is, first we calculate the first pixels light and density by this equation of each images. Then we can find the darkest pixel, which means the uh, lowest light and density. Then we can use this pixel as the first pixel of our result image. Then repeat the procedure until the last uh, uh, pixel, so we can get a uh, we should we can get a result image, and the collision all the collision part should be removed. Here is how I define the collision in my experiment. First, I read the image with RGB value, and then normalize the image uh, by this equation. Here we can get some normalized RGB value, and this is a normalized image. Then after getting this. Uh, we extract the collision area by this threshold. Here it's, I use the normalized RGB and also the original R from the original image. Finally, we, I use a blue color to indicate the collision areas in the uh, original image. Let's see the result and, and discussion. First, uh, let's see the collision elimination. These three images is the uh, original image with different rotation angle. The rotation angle is 75, 130, and 160, which correspond different the condition. In this image, only the right part collision is still there, and this is the fourth, worst uh, situation. Both of the collision is not be uh, removed. And in this image, only the left part uh, collision is still there. And this is uh, our combined result image. So we count the uh, collision pixel numbers of in each images. Uh, in this one, the collision pixel number is about 4,000. And in this one, it's about uh, 6,200. And in this image, there are only about 1,300 uh, pixels in the image. But in our result image, we can see there is only uh, 70, uh, 730 collision pixels left. So. Uh, which means the combined result image can uh, minimize the uh, collision area in the whole image. But if we only focus on the uh, tomato area, here uh, the total number of the pixels of tomato area is about 10,000. And the collision pixels number in this, uh, one, in this image on the tomato surface is about 260. And in this worst situation, it's about 1,600. And in this uh, uh, image, there is only 81 uh, collision pixels on the tomato surface. And in our result image, there is no collision uh, pixels detected in the, uh, on the tomato surface. So which means, by this way, uh, the, all the uh, collision is being eliminated on the tomato surface. Next, uh, let's say the color representation improvement. Here, all the images is converted to the HSV model. Here is the range of the H value, S value, and V value. These two figures uh, is uh, re shows the relation between H and S, and uh, correspond to the these two images with uh, on the tomato area in the tomato area. This is the uh, worst situation, and the two collisions there, and this is our result images. The y-axis uh, is the uh, saturation value. We can see in this original image, uh, the uh, tomato pixels, some of the tomato pixels, their S value is lower than 40 or even lower than 30, which means uh, the color information is lost in this uh, in these pixels. But uh, in our result images, all the pixels of the tomato area, their S value is above 40. 
So we can see the color inf we can still read the color information from this image of the tomato. And if we focus on the uh, if we compare the standard derivation of the H value and S value, we can see in our result image the standard derivation uh, is much lower than the uh, standard derivation in the original image, which means uh, the uh, result image is uh, the H value and S value became more consistent. Uh, it also indicates that uh, our ima uh, image color representation can be, is be improved. Okay, here is my conclusion. Uh, in this research, a collision reduction system with one stepping motor, uh, one polarizing filter, and one PV camera was developed. And in order to eliminate multiple collision areas, uh, a method is proposed. Uh, the tomato images are taken with different rotational angle of PR filter. Then combine all the darkest pixels of all the images to get a result image. In result image, uh, the multiple collision areas can be removed, and the H and S value of tomato area became more consistent. So this approach provided a good representation of mm, tomato color. That's all. Thank you. You have taken a number of images. Yes. Um, have you looked at how many images would be optimal? Uh, is uh, six uh, images the best? Or Oh, yes, I, actually, in, in some previous uh, study, they pointed that uh, maybe three degrees is the best rotation angle. Uh, in that case, all the collision error can be minimized. But uh, in, this, uh, in this experiment, just because our result image uh, on the tomato surface, all the collision error is eliminated, so I didn't uh, use three degrees as a uh, rotational angle step. Anyways. You, your materials uh, only get color foods, only one food, or how many foods? You uh, uh, yes, actually, I use different color with the red and also some orange one. Um, but uh, in maybe here in this time, I didn't got some right, uh, green one fruits. Um, but uh, in for the red one and orange one, the uh, effect inflation uh, eliminated effect is all good. Green, green one is also the same definition, same similar as that. Mm, uh, I actually, uh, I actually, if we say this image, maybe this part is there is a green uh, color tomato, but. Uh, on the surface, there is a collision can be detected like this. Maybe uh, definition of this uh, collision uh, method, this definition is uh, good for the green one. But uh, uh, I didn't try if the, this whole method is good for green one or not. You have to show the, uh, those uh, other conditions, other fruits, exactly. You just made the uh, uh, specific uh, some condition. Yes. Uh, sunlight and uh, reflected light from inner. Yes. Maybe you have another um, condition, another uh, yeah, effect, defective light or some secondary or tertiary defective light condition or something like that. Oh yes, I, actually, maybe uh, sometimes, uh, like in this image, some reflected light is just from the back of the camera. In that case, maybe uh, even how I rotate the PR filter, there are still some uh, collision exists because of the mm, instant angle is not the boost angle. So in that case, maybe the result is not so good as this result. You have to explain the uh, what kind of condition uh, that is uh, 
uh, partially light, partially electric light, or secondary electric light, or just uh, transmitted light, or, uh, you know, direct light, or some, uh, please make clear about that. Okay. In, any other suggestion or question? Okay. Yes. Uh, which kind of operation is useful for this method? Uh, actually, in this case, I uh, we want to analyze the color information to get some high quality images contains all the color information of the tomato. Maybe it's not only for the uh, harvesting; it also can be for the, some monitoring system. So. Uh, after getting the uh, whole color information of the tomato, we can know if the uh, tom tomato is good or not, or some cultivation condition is good or not, good or not, like that.